Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation homebrew news and much, much more. So we heard from John Tornblum again, and the most recent discovery from John Tornblum is, is that basically you can enable the debug settings on a PlayStation 5 just simply using a rewritable Blu-ray disc. Now, there is a couple of other things that he worked on that is also currently available. One of them being the ability to dump the kernel data from the PlayStation 5. Now, we've already been able to do this, and I think for most users, you probably won't find anything beneficial from doing so. So I'm going to admit that here. Now, another thing that was added was the ability to load or to send jar files over to the PlayStation 5 in order to execute them, very similar to what we have right now with the WebKit and with ELF files. Again, I don't think that the end user would benefit that much from me showing you that. So instead today, I'm just gonna focus on showing you how you can build your own ISO image that will enable the debug settings completely from scratch, then we'll burn it to a disc, and then finally we'll run it over on our PlayStation 5. So let's go ahead and let's just get started. Okay, so the very first thing to note is, is that inside of samples, there is the PS5 kernel data dump. This is actually going to be the folder where it contains the ability to automatically unlock the debug settings on a PlayStation 5 once you insert the disc. Now, I would recommend using something like the Windows subsystem for Linux and maybe using the Ubuntu flavor. I also typically pair that with Windows Terminal in order to get the best experience. What I'm going to do in order to build the IC so image is is that I'm going to simply come to his repository. I'm going to scroll down a bit and then from right here I can see there are some building instructions. Basically we just need to take each one of these line by line in order to get our system set up and then finally we'll build the ISO image with this final make command. So let's go ahead and let's take the first line here and we will copy it and we will paste that over in our Windows terminal. Okay, we'll go ahead and we will run that. We will need a super user password here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to put mine in. And now we're just going to go ahead and continue walking through his instructions. So the second one is a git clone command. And we'll just kind of go from there. And now the third command, the fourth command, are make commands and again these errors are okay another make command here and then the last one which will take care of all of the setup so now what we need to do is is that we need to come in here and we need to run this final make command right here and I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and what we need to point that towards is the PS5 kernel data dump. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to clear my screen here. We're going to paste that in as samples. And this is PS5, KE, and then just tab. And that is for the kernel data dump, which again does include the ability to enable debug settings. So we'll go ahead and press return here. And if everything looks good, your screen should look very similar to mine and we will have an ISO image. So now I'm going to use explorer.exe and then a period here. And we will go into the BDJ SDK folder and then go to samples and then our PS5 kernel data dump and there is our ISO image. So now go ahead and insert a Blu-ray 
read writable disk into your drive as I've already done right here. And then you're going to want some sort of program such as image burn. So I'm going to go ahead and load image burn on my machine. And just one more thing before we burn that image, sometimes it's best to actually take that back out of the Linux instance and maybe just copy that somewhere on your hard disk drive. And I just simply copied mine over to PS5 and then enable debug settings. Now in image burn, I'm going to select write an image to a disk. We're going to take that ISO image and just drag and drop it. And now we're going to press the burn disk option. So we'll go ahead and we'll let that burn and then we will switch over to our PlayStation 5 and watch the magic happen. Okay, operation completed successful. Let's go do it. Okay, so here I am. I'm on my PlayStation 5 and as you can see, I do not have debug settings. I did go ahead and put the Blu-ray disc into my PlayStation 5. And so now I'm just gonna come down here and I'm going to press the play button. So let's go ahead and let's do that. Okay, and there it is. It says debug menu enabled and there is the exploit. So it looks like it is running. It says arbitrary read write achieved. And so now if I go back to my home button here and we're going to go over to settings and we're going to scroll down to the bottom, there is our debug settings. So anyway, that is just another way that you can enable debug settings without using the WebKit. Now again, keep in mind that you could use this same exact ISO image to dump your kernel data on the PlayStation 5 if you wanted to. And then also there was another image that you could build if you wanted to send jar files or java related payloads instead of the elf files that we have right now with webkit well anyway thank you so very much for watching i hope you got something out of this i'll see you on the next one michael out